before we start playing with the bow, we need to talk a little bit about good bowing technique. And this is really important for upper strings. So when you move your bow arm, you're moving from the shoulder only a tiny amount. Most of the motion is coming from the elbow, the wrist, and the fingers. So I'm just going to demonstrate by placing my bow on a string and moving my arm back and forth. Just watch the motion. When I pull the bow towards the tip, my arm will straighten. When I go up back towards the frog, my arm will bend back in. So I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit just so you can see what it is that I'm doing. So very little of my arm motion is coming from the shoulder. Most of it's coming from my elbow, wrist, and fingers. And that's really important when you're starting out producing a good tone with your bow. There are three parts to good tone. The first part is bow placement. And that means where you are putting your bow on the string. So you should be setting your bow in between the bridge and the fingerboard. And you wanna make sure that it's in a straight line parallel to the bridge, like this. When you pull the bow down, the bow should remain in a straight line because as we showed in the previous section, you are pulling from the shoulder a little bit, mostly from the elbow and from the wrist. So your, your bow arm will straighten as you pull down and bend as you, as you bow up. But the placement between the, the bridge and the fingerboard is very important. Also what's important is where you set the bow on the string. This here is called the balance point. It's about a third of the way down the bow. And I consider this to be sort of the sweet spot. It really allows you to have a good tone from the get-go. So always set your bow on the string at the balance point. The second part of good tone is bow weight. Now, weight is not the same as pressure. Pressure involves force, and you don't ever want to be forcing your arm to push the bow into the string. What you do instead is you allow the natural weight of your arm to rest into the stick of the bow, which will then transfer that weight into the hair. And what happens is really pretty magical. You can see I'm wiggling my bow here and it's not moving. When I have an, the appropriate amount of arm weight in the bow, that will start activating the rosin on the hair and that will allow the rosin to stick to the strings. So that's why the bow isn't moving even though I'm wiggling it. So, so when I pull the bow, this activates the third component of good tone, which is bow speed. You wanna move the bow quickly enough that the string starts to vibrate. If you move the bow too slowly, you get this creaky sound that's not very pleasant to listen to. And the reason that we're hearing that is because the bow is moving too slowly. It's moving too slowly and the vibration from the string is not happening fast enough. So you set the bow at the balance point, you relax your arm into the bow, and then you pull down with a consistent speed of the bow. And you'll produce a nice clear tone like that. This exercise with the bow is called long tones. Long tones are a really great way to practice getting a good sound on your open strings, which is very important when you're practicing with the bow. So before we do long tones, I wanna talk about the angle that your bow needs to be at to be on each one of your strings. So viola's A is your highest string. When you set the bow on the A string, it's gonna be closest to your body. So your arm will actually be closest to it, your side. When you go to the D string, you're gonna raise your elbow slightly and that will be on the D string. And you can check if your bow is on the correct string by just looking at the hair and seeing what string it's contacting. To go to the G string, you're gonna raise your elbow a little bit more. And then to go to the C string, your lowest string, you're gonna raise your elbow to its highest point and it will look like this. So just to review, 
A string, D string, G string, and C string. So next we're gonna do our long tones. Long tones simply are as they sound, long bows on each of our open strings. They look like this. So we're gonna do that on each one of our open strings four times. And the order we're gonna do is four A's, four D's, four G's, and four C's. So get ready, let's start on our A string. One, two, three, four. Awesome exercise that you should do every day before you practice your instrument to get a good tone.